Lakshmi Tantra, Chapter 8 Avatars of Lakshmi in the Six Koshas Chakra I salute thee who wast born in the ocean. I salute thee, lotus born. O thou who abidest in the lotus and art the wife of Narayana, I salute thee. O Padma, deign to describe fully to me who request thee the forms of thy descents in the five sheaths which have been mentioned. Deign, O eternal omniscient goddess, to tell me what objects they possess, what their characteristics are, how many they are, and what their essential nature is. Shri Brahman is Narayana, the single, void, pure, and flawless one. Antaranga, interior, devoid of any disturbance, undefinable, without vibration, matchless, unqualified, integral, undifferentiated, and changeless. All things contained in this world that are cognized, mentioned in the scriptures, or inferred, that is, all that can be apprehended directly or indirectly through the three instruments of knowledge, whether of a positive or negative nature, whether movable or immovable, subtle or gross, sentient or insentient, all these consist of Brahman, of Narayan, second to none. Brahman is bliss without avidya, nescience, pure, absolute, and concentrated consciousness, consisting of both the existent reality and its state of existence the divine and ultimate goal of the spiritual path. Brahman differentiates itself in two ways, both as the possessor of Shakti and as the Shakti herself. That absolute Brahman, as the possessor of Shakti, is manifest as Narayana, the I entity, the existent principle. As Shakti, Brahman is Narayani, who is myself, the I-hood of Narayana, representing his bhava, state of existence. There is no place where he exists without me. There is no place that contains me without containing him. We, the source of all, are sometimes described singly and sometimes dually in the scriptures, that have reached, as it were, the other side of the ocean of the cosmic principles. Some scriptures describe creation as evolving out of the principle of the bhava, state of existence of Narayana. In others, it is described as evolving out of bhavat, the existent reality while in yet others it is said to evolve out of both the existent reality and its state of existence. But since all refer to the same reality, Brahman, the learned are not confused by them. When Narayana descends alone to further the cause of the gods, I then manifest the active aspect of his nature, when, on the other hand, I descend alone in order to help the gods, then it is He, God, the I entity, who manifests His I hood in me. When, in order to benefit the gods, each of us descends in a similar manner as separate incarnations, we exist inseparably in each other as the existent reality and its state of existence. While the realities remain absolutely integrated, the position of the incarnations is as follows. Listen. Aniruddha is the eternal, omnipresent, divine being, the supreme deity, 
who emerged, O Vasava, from Mahavidya. I then emanated out of myself Mahalakshmi and am called Kamala. This divine couple are considered to be the parents of the universe. In the incarnation as Padmanabha, they are Ayonija. Neither of them has been born of parents. The incarnation of Narayan, known as the Lord of Shakti, has many forms. I am Anuvrata, following his functions in all cases. My descents may be of one form, two forms, four forms, six forms, eight forms, or again, twelve forms. Now, hear my names in these forms. Bearing the name Shri, I, the Fair One, sit on the lap of Narayana, the two-armed God. O Vasava, I am called Shri and Pushti when I am manifested on either side of him. Vishnu enjoys me in the forms of Shri, Kirti, Jaya, and Maya when I am manifested on all four sides of him. O Vasava, I manifest myself around him in a hexagonal position in six forms. And now listen to their names. Shuddhi, Niranjana, Nitya, Jnana Shakti, Aparajita, and the sixth is Supreme Prakriti. I assume eight forms when occupying the eight sides of the same Narayana. My names then are Lakshmi, Saraswati, Sarvakamada, Pritivardhini, Yashakshari, Shantida, Tushtida, and the eighth is Pushti. When I surround him and assume twelve forms in double hexagonal position, I am called Shri, Kameshwari, Kanti, Kriya, Shakti, Vibhuti, Itcha, Priti, Rati, Maya, Di, and Mahiman. Following the same order, I surround the four-armed Narayan in six forms. O Vasava, likewise I differentiate myself in multiple forms through various manifestations of myself as Shakti of the same Narayan, who possesses six, eight, fourteen, sixteen, or eighteen arms according to his various manifestations. I surround the incarnation of Vishnu called Sindhu Shai in four forms. These different forms are Lakshmi, Nidra, Priti, and Vidya. When Vishnu incarnates as Shripati, I, named Shri, occupy his left side. When Vishnu appears in the incarnation named Parijatajit, I am seated on Hari's left thigh, with my hand resting on his shoulder. Assuming the form of a ship, I follow in Vishnu's wake when he appears in the auspicious incarnation of Minadhara. The Trivikram appearance is considered to be Vishnu's supreme manifestation, and then I flow out of his feet as the delightful Ganga. I occupy the four sides of Hari when he is incarnated as Anantashayana, and then I am called Lakshmi, Chinta, Nidra, and Pushti. In this way, I appear jointly with each of his incarnations in the cosmic egg. When the incarnations in the cosmic egg appear singly, then too I appear there in the same way, but separately cooperating with their specific functions. When Vishnu descends as Varaha, who is famous in the Vedas, I too appear separately and am called Bhu. When he appears as the ancient incarnation Dharma, at that time I, Sri, become the famous Bhargavi. 
at the time of the incarnation of Dattatreya, the son of Atri, I emerged from the lake to be enjoyed by him. At the time of the holy Vamana incarnation, I appear and am known as Padma. When Vishnu descends as Rama, the son of Bhrigu, I then become Dharani, the earth, the unborn Shakti. In the field in which Janaka performs his sacrifice, I spring out of the furrow made by his plow and am named Sita, the illustrious destroyer of Dashanana. When at Matra, Vishnu will descend in four forms, Balaram, Krishna, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha, I too shall manifest myself in four forms, called Revati, Rukmini, Rati, and Usha. In God's other incarnation as the enchanting Buddha, I am Tara, also known as Dhara. When Vishnu descends singly as Dhruva, etc., I only form their bodies and am to be enjoyed by them. But in my incarnation as Mohini, the enchantress holding nectar, God is manifest both as Bhavat and Bhava, the existent reality and its state of existence, perceived in a single form, of which the gods saw the male form and the demons saw the female form. Thus I have explained my marvelous incarnations in conjunction with Narayana. <laughs>